number of, of songwriters heard about the show and, and contacted me, and uh, Lauren is one of them, and she is going to sing uh, with Megan Lochran and Lauren Mayer and Elizabeth Ness and Janet No are going to perform the Sexual Harassment Prevention Song. <laughs> current events section of the evening, or as I like to call political comedy songs, so much material, so little time. <laughs> the news is full of sexual misconduct and harassment, and what to do consumes each institution. But instead of trying to analyze what each remark or pass meant, there just might be an easier solution. You could do a lot of training and encourage more complaining. Or you could hire and promote more women. <laughs> Make everybody in the joint sit through an hour-long PowerPoint. Or you could hire and promote more women. <laughs> You could ban socializing and employee fraternizing, telling rules and regulations you're swimming. Have your board of directors hire inspectors with lie detectors. Or maybe just appoint more women. You could give girls a dress code, making sure that nothing showed so that guys aren't triggered by women. Or all that crap we could torpedo, men could own their own libido. Stop blaming everything on women. With each story coming through, we could sniff well if it's true, till the list of allegations is brimming. But instead of having men wonder what to do again, we might try listening to women. <laughs> you could emulate Mike Pence and prime any event where there's a chance you might be alone with the women. <laughs> Believe me. 